Welcome to another Car Booth 1 video. This is an in-depth tour of the 2021 Mitsubishi Pajero Exceed, or known as the Montero in overseas markets. In this video I'll be giving you a full walk around the car. I'll be showing you how the seats fold, show the interior, show the engine bay, and so on. Let's get straight into it. Towards the front you've got by LED headlights, as you can see. Also you can see towards the bottom portion you've got LED daytime rain lights nice deal of detail also got some fog lights as well see the front fascia of the Pajero has some nice chrome on the outside of the grill here you got the sort of texture sort of fitness towards the bottom portion also you got some headlight washers for the headlights there too The fuel consumption of this SUV, this four-wheel drive, is 9.1 litres per 100 kilometres, urban 11.1, extra urban 8.0. Turns the model I'm showing you is the Exceed model, the diesel as well. In the motion graphics I will show you the information in terms of the range and stuff like that. Show the wheels. In terms of the tyres, they are Dunlop 8020 tyres, 8020 Grand Trek tyres. They are made in Japan. In terms of the tyre size, they are a 80 inch tyre. Look at the alloy here as well. Chrome side view mirrors and you also have got some nice LED indicators on the side view mirrors to help you with visibility when you're changing lanes. You also can see you've got some side steps here as well. It's also texture as well, makes it easier getting in and out of the car. The build quality on these are so good. I mean listen to the they feel so solid. It's funny because they've been making these for like 20 years, but it's a 20-year-old platform, but the bodies, I guess, new and stuff like that, but very little has changed in the past 10 years. It's kind of interesting. Might use the wider angle camera so you can have a good look at the rear. Tail lights, again, nothing really changed for 2021. Oh, I think it's too zoomed in. I think it hit the wrong setting. Full size spare tyre in the rear. Jero badging, and you've got a reversing camera, which is nice. You've got a fog light, braking light. I'm not too sure. Let me just double check on that. So, third braking light at the top here. I think that's also a brake light. I'll double check that in the motion graphics. You've got a single exhaust. You've got, ind you've got individual suspension as well. A little bit more underneath. <laughs> you can see the model here as well. DHD is a diesel seed. Got a little spoiler there as well. Now, I want to fold the seats, but it's going to be really hard doing that single handed, so I won't be doing that in this video, unfortunately. Um, you got the Rockford, the top spec, you got the Rockford subwoofer. See, it's nicely carpeted. Uh, you got the, the headrest over here. And I believe this whole seat design goes underneath. So, interesting, it's just a wider lens. See, so you got some hooks here. Entire and large items. You got a 12 watt search, 120 watt power outlet. Um, yeah, I don't know where I could put this. That's, which is also another reason why and you can see you've got some leather seats here as well so you can have a look these probably be better for like kids under five i don't think anyone in my height will fit in the back here anyway all hard plastics here in case you're wondering um visibility is actually pretty good which is actually quite surprising 
and you looks like you got two extra tweeters over here as well. Um, on the Pedro's you got your wipe window washer fluid for the rear, it has a separate actual tank and these are just the bolts to for the spare tire and if you unlock that that gives you access to the to the I think to the spare because there's some bolts and some instructions here in case you're wondering and you got a little handle here I like how it kind of is nice and wide and also here it's textured as well so it makes it easier to load items also a little nice little detail You can hear a little bit of um, quality, solid. Four pocket sensors on the rear. Sorry if I zoomed in a bit too much earlier, it's a bit hard. You can see you got some nice chrome on the outside the tail light there, inside the tail light there. It's all your handles. Do you have the key fob? It's a pretty stand looking key, it's actually a flip key, I actually expected. For, they might actually have updated it, so pretty standard looking key, um, old school flip key, which is interesting. Lock, unlock, quite interesting. So this is kind of like the deal they got right th at the moment. See the door, quality. See the interior of the Pajero. So again, nothing really changed. Two twenty twenty one. so solid like it's, it's got this sort of like I don't know how to explain it I really like these cars even though they are showing a little bit of age so let me just it's just a wide lens so this is the interior of the 2021 Mitsubishi Pajero or Montero now I do have the key so I think it's easier if I put the key in the slot pretty standard So here's your gauges, it's going to beep a little bit so I do apologise. So towards, you can see towards the left you've got your speedometer, your speedometer, you've got your fuel gauge for the engine, you've got a pretty standard basic trip computer, you've also got um, your little mode here so when you switch into oil drive or oil drive, it will display where the power is going to, if I zoom in a little bit more you can probably see there. Towards the right here you've got your rev counter and your temperature gauge for the engine, so pretty standard stuff, pretty simple. You can also see it's got this sort of nice graphics, hasn't really changed at all, as you guys know, but looks pretty cool anyway. So you got leather wrapped steering roll, it's quite nice, also got some, whoop, why aren't you focusing, where's the camera always goes out of focus, there you go. So you got some nice black stitching here, feels really nice, even though the buns are there, feel pretty solid, you can see, still some nice tactile feel back. Hands free telephone, answer, answer, cancel calls, hands free, clear cruise control settings there. Pretty nice. You can see you've got your wipe controls to the left, and you've got your indicator and headlight controls to the right. And the right, I believe, is to activate your headlight washers. You can see you press that button there, you can do that. Audio headlights, so it's also pretty neat. It's quite nice. While we're here, we might just turn on the. Forgot you also got. This hasn't really changed either. So apart from showing your clock, it's got I believe a compass as well. So if I press this, you can actually cycle through a lot of different features. So you've got elevation, so that's pretty good. You've got a barometer. Wow. Um, wow. It hasn't even changed. They haven't even changed the, the date. So it's been the default to 2006. Um, yeah. So you can actually turn off it completely. And I think these are all these. You can change all the information here leaders oh that's a reset I'm not too sure and to, I think to adjust the clock or something um other little things you can see obviously your time temperature outside and what I just showed you earlier so pretty cool stuff so whoop sorry so range speed yeah that's also nothing nothing really new you do have I guess a up there screen but I think they uploaded this I think a few years ago um so you pu can put Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, I guess that's good. Um, you also have DAB digital radio and FM. So you can test out the radio. It probably hasn't been adjusted yet, so it's gonna sound, hasn't been tuned or anything, so it's gonna be 
kind of average. Sorry to do that quickly because of the because of the copyright. So you can see a bit of radio test you can hear. The stereo is actually pretty good. Um, you're not going to get a good look. It's easy with a knob, but yeah, I'm going up and down with the volume to avoid copyright. So I do apologize. But you get the idea. It's yeah, it's not too bad. The responsiveness. It, it is a little bit dated. I'll be honest with the graphics. You can see. Um, does it have navigation? I don't think so. It does. Oh, it does have GPS. Um, oh, okay. I I don't think it has um navigation, but it's, I don't think you're going to really use it. So yeah, so pretty pretty standard. Nothing really new there to be honest. Uh, phone, iPod. Not like anyone uses the iPod. USB. Um. Yeah, pretty standard sort of stuff, but yeah, I, yeah, pretty simple. Got your AC controls here, so, so in terms of the highest temperature, it looks like it's 32, and lowest is 18.5, so you can see feedback feels pretty good. Front, to mode, recycling, rear, all that. I hear it turning on right now. Pretty standard stuff. Can you even feel the switches? You can see. I feel pretty solid. This story looks like a card holder there. I think. Um, standard controls here. You got heated in heated seats, low, high. Additional buttons. A power outlet there see your transmission here you can see it's um, leather wrapped and you've got this sort of black stitching here as well standard and you've got all your different drive your if you've got once full-time audio tool drive um full drive i think high low range stuff like that so you can obviously change between those settings which is kind of cool so also even here you can see the gear selector is also made from leather well, a bit of some movement there. Anyhow, got some cup holders, but this is more not really that great. But you know, it can fit these, which is good. So you've got a 750 ml load bottle. It doesn't fit on the sides here, which is kind of a little bit unfortunate. But um, yeah, because it's alright. And it's a little bit textured as well. Got some more gloss black trim as well. All pretty alright. You can see some storage here. And it looks like you've got some additional ports. You've got HDMI port, which I don't think you'll use to be honest. Two USB ports as well. See the dashboard's actually some semi soft touch material. It's a bit more robust. Let's just try and focus the camera. All pretty neat. Standard vanity mirror. Get some more here. Another one there. Got a actual powered sunroof, which I'm not gonna really bother opening. Which is actually quite large, so I guess that's cool. See here, you got so my camera's shaking because I got a problem with my hand. You've got some silver stitching here, and if I open this one, you've got some storage there, all textured. Open the second compartment, which I don't know how the I think it's this one. There you go. And then you've got some relatively deep storage, I guess, with this power outlet there too. And the model you see here is a 20th A1, that's proof here, and it's going for 62,730. And these are, come what you see. Sterling silver is a color, in case you're wondering. See leather seats. You can see here, you can see the silver stitching. Stand handbrake, all of the wrapped. Fog lights, so you can ask for the front and the rear, you can turn on the rear fog. Power mirrors, so you can obviously adjust over here. All the buttons feel pretty solid. AC is obviously going to be pretty cold. Mitsubishi does make air conditioning systems too. Mitsubishi Electric, you know. So, yeah. still pretty solid feeling. But, 
the old switches feel pretty solid. Even these handles feel really good, look. Still a bit of some soft touch materials there. Yeah, I might just put this one just over here so it's just easier. Now let's switch to the wide angle leads again. Have a look. Interior. Even here you can even see you've got the handles feel pretty good even for soft touch here as well it's nicely padded over here as well um no no pockets here which is kind of a bit of a shame but um yeah be all right let's jump into here it's got a step here which is good so if you're pretty short like myself you'll be able to have some decent room even the doors in the rear pretty solid feeling so you can see here you've got some switches here, fan speeds, cool and hot air. Um, unfortunately, it, no, it looks like there's no vents for the rear, so I think it's all ducted underneath the seat. Um, oh, wait, what am I saying? There's actually vents up here, what am I saying? Okay, I apologize. But you've got vents up here, which I guess is good, with some reading lights, which I'm not turning on at the moment. So I'm trying to put this up. So press this out, it's like... Got some cup holders, so I can put this drink here, which is good. So I figured that at least you can put your drinks there, so I guess that's nice. Um, there's some flex there, but um, yeah, pretty all right. Oh, that sprung about pretty quick. Put that there. So it's quite flat in the center, so as you can see, you can easily put your feet. Um, doesn't really intrude, but it is quite a little bit more higher than I thought. But um, yeah, so I'll just show you the dashboard from the rear seat. I'm still surprised they're still making these, but yeah. Pretty cool cars anyway. Lights at edge. Got some additional handles here. Makes you feel a bit more robust. Sorry, it gives you a bit more stability, especially going off-road and stuff like that. Did mention these are uh, all soft-touch materials. It's nice. Yeah. I want to try the rear seats, but I can't because it's just too hard, to be honest. So I'm just going to show you. Um, yeah, it's just going to be a bit, of a, a bit of a nightmare, so unfortunately I can't. But I'll just move this out of the way. So... Definitely if you're under five you fit here, but it's not really much um It's not quite deep. So your knees are gonna be literally up pretty high. So it's a little bit uncomfortable Apart from that you can see the rear visibility is pretty good. You do have a bit of a blind spot there and over there But um overall got, got, got a lot of glass. So I guess that's pretty good. So It's quite nice and you do have ventilation, which is also good. So you got air conditioning for the rear if you do carry anyone But um, yeah, pretty cool See the seats also are the same as the front, it's very similar. And you got some pockets there. Oh, I did, oh, there actually is some vents over there, I actually didn't see it. But I'm here. Also textured here too, so, nice. Forgot to mention, you do have electric seats as well, so that's nice. And you can increase and decrease the lumbar support so if you need more floor handle there. Up. Alright. It's gonna be a little bit hard, but there you go. Sorry about that. So here's your engine. Diesel engine. With a four cylinder, if I'm correct. Not really much to see because you do have the um you do have the oops, sorry I got some messages coming up. You do have the engine cover. You go your battery, diesel fuel filter, coolant. A 
pastoring fluid. Sorry, pastoring fluid healer. And this is your brake fluid, what I'm saying, oh, my apologies. Your air box and stuff like that, switch to a wider lens. If you live in like a third world country, these are so popular, especially like in my home country in Sri Lanka. Like everyone drives one of these. It'll either be this or Land Cruiser. Like everyone loves these sorts of cars because they can go anywhere. That's for the walk around of the 2021 Mitsubishi Pajero, or known as the Montero. Hope you enjoyed this video. This probably might be the last year they might make this car. It is showing its age, I'll be honest. But um, I'll be pretty excited to make a new one, so I'm pretty looking forward to it. Hope you enjoyed this video, and feel free to like and subscribe. And if you are interested in this car, feel free to check out Eastside Mitsubishi. That's where this car is at. Um, if you're interested in purchasing this car. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.